Hey, uh, what's going on, guys? This is Eva today, coming to you with a uh, tutorial. Uh, this is an After Effects today of how to do um, the face fakey. Uh, it's right here. That. How to do that right there. How to. It's like a message alert effect. I don't even know. It's, it's really cool, and uh, it spent me a while to figure out how to do this, but uh, I finally figured it out, and it is really fun. And, uh, yeah, so let me get right to it. So, uh, here's one that, uh, I made myself. This is going into, uh, like a, uh, re-edit of the Agony 2 thing. Here, let me see if, where it is, right here. Uh, turn it down a little bit. Yeah, it comes up right here. And, uh, give it to please. So, alright, so let's try and recreate this ourselves. So, um, let me go on and open up After Effects. Wow, I really should have done this before. But, uh, I'm all waiting it to load. Eh, waiting. Hold on, let me, uh, shut off my TV. I'm watching South Park. Uh, it. There we go. <sighs> loading, loading, loading. Closing that quick now, man. Loading, loading, loading. Closing Google Chrome. Loading, loading, loading. Why is it taking so long? Holy shit. Holy shit. Hmm. Hey, hold on. Let me move my laptop right now. It's on like a last table that my mouse doesn't work. Man. Let's go, man. Seriously, man. Let's see if my line is. Frame 52. Holy shit. There we go. Alright, so, um, first thing we want to do is, uh, just import your clip. Um, I'll import the same one that I used in the example, uh, mainly because it's, uh, it has an Xbox thing pop up. Now, uh, you can do this on PS3 too. It's pretty much the same basic principle for it. So, uh, let me just drag this onto the auto comp button. Alright, so what you basically gotta do is, uh, like, skip to where the beginning of it pops up. It's like right here. And you gotta find where the text where it fully like goes into place and then you uh, right click down here go to new adjustment layer and then you, uh, you click your pen tool or you can press G and uh, zoom in here and hold on let me move over uh, right alright so uh, now what you do is you basically mask around the letters so you just mask around the edges here now I'm just doing this rough um, you can do this either by, like, you can either go individually around each letter, or you can just get the whole box in general. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. But, uh, yeah, so, it's just a really cool effect, and I'm just going to do this quick. Alright, so now, once you've uh, outlined your, uh, the text or whatever, uh, you're going to go into your effects and presets and search fill and scroll down here and drag fill on your adjustment layer. So now once that pops up you see that red comes in and you don't want that so you click on the eyedropper tool and then you hit the uh... you click the part where you want the same color to come out. So now if you look on your other clip it looks pretty nice it's decently covered up. Uh, I could have done a bit better with the mask because there's a couple places where it just doesn't where it didn't blend in but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just keep going quickly. And uh, you can just take your text tool, type in something like, please, or wait. You got to the win. Uh, just drag it into place quickly. Alright, and uh, this is pretty much the last part of it. You, um,. Basically what you do is you select your adjustment layer and your text layer 
and find where and by going back in time you uh here, let me zoom out and back side of this. You go back in time and find where the uh text comes in. So like right here. And then let's move forward. Like right there to where your Xbox or PS3 thing like fully comes in. And then you uh go to edit split layer and then uh delete the uh top one like right up here you delete that or no delete the first one that I did. And then you find the end and you basically split that too. So uh thanks for watching. This has been a pretty short tutorial and uh I'm out.